What is up my YouTube family? It is Curtis Wayne back with another video. Today's video is not going to be music related. I'm not making any music. I'm not creating any beats. Today I'm just going to talk a little bit about some guerrilla marketing. Yes, sir. Guide to starting and running a business. This book is excellent, man. It's an excellent read. I would suggest you finding this. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon and cop this, pick this book up and read it from front to back. If you want to know how to write a business plan, if you want to know about market research, if you want to know about taxes, um, the specific tax brackets, um, you know, it's based off of the type of income that you make. This book will tell you exactly where you at with that. Um, and it gives you it just gives you a bunch of uh, lingo as far as, you know, like I said, marketing, taxes, um, budgeting, accounting, budgeting, you know, the basics that that an entrepreneur would need. Um, it's just all about educating yourself, guys. Educate yourself. Music is a business as well. Um, music is a tough business, a tough pill to swallow, man. Um, I mean, I could sit here for hours and tell you guys how much like work I put in, you know, as far as, so I, I'll give you a little bit, um, I'll give you a little in as to what I did. So back in 2018, I want to say 2018, 2017, 2018. Um, so I had took like a year off of producing music. I was producing music. I started producing music in 2004. I was 24 years old when I started producing music, but I had been writing music as an artist since I was nine years old, right? So writing music, practicing cadence, you know, freestyling, the whole gamut, man, when it came to artistry, right? Uh, I never really kind of, you know, I had my little brother, he was producing music. So I never really thought I had to produce music until he went his way, I went my way, you know, and um, I needed music, I needed beats. So my first thing was to go pick up a, a keyboard. Um, I went and picked up a workstation, a Triton limited edition workstation. It was like a thousand bucks for the keyboard. And I would just sit there and play around with that keyboard. I should have been learning how to play keys, but instead I was trying to put beats together. So I would just sit there and play with that keyboard and I would play with it every day every day for years <laughs> um i had that keyboard maybe i want to say a good i got it in maybe 2004 i had it to about 2006 2007 so i had the keyboard for at least about three years and then i sold it you know and, and i'm i mean i don't even want to start on the story as to how much money i spent on music equipment man from mpc 2000 to the mpc 2000 xl mpc 1000 and the list goes on and on thousands and thousands of dollars throughout the years and never made a single dime off music right so and that was where the discouragement came in i got discouraged and i said you know what i'm tired of music i haven't made any money i need to find something that i can do for a career path and you know just work for 25 30 years and and have a retirement and you know the the typical american uh you know, American story, success story, right? Buy a house, pay a 30 year mortgage, you know, be a slave in that system. And um, I just never was happy in that. But I decided, and that's what I'm going to do, right? So I stopped making music. Like I said, I took a year off. And um, I said, man, I love music too much. So then I got back into it. And then this time around, I got back into it as far as on the, com the computer side. I was using Reason. Um, so I, I, I copped a, a copy of Reason. I had already been using Reason, like way back in the day. I started with Reason Three, but um, um, I I, I really was a hardware guy. I liked you know the MPC. I actually liked to touch and feel the keys and the, the pads and the knobs and buttons and so on and so forth. So um, make a long story short, started using Reason. I went to audio engineering school out in uh, Phoenix. Moved out to Phoenix in 2010, and I completed a program with a school called Conservatory of Recording Arts and Sciences. Um, did good in that school. Came back, was supposed to get an internship. That didn't happen. Was still working your regular nine to five job. And then I said, man, you know what? I'm going to get back into music, but this time around, I'm going to go after uh, music libraries. So I started making a ton of music. 
I set out a schedule. I wrote everything down. Okay, I'm going to make X amount of beats every week. I'll have this amount of beats in a year, have a catalog worth of music. And as I'm doing that, building my catalog, I'm going to start reaching out to these music libraries and music publishers and send my music to a list of, I made a list of 100 music libraries and publishers. And I emailed them directly myself, um, sending out my music, finding out what way, what format do they accept, so on and so forth. And out of 100 of them, I got one response that said yes, you know, out of one of them. And I signed like four tracks into a music library. And um, this was over two years ago. I hadn't had any one of those tracks placed or utilized. You know, that's just the name of the game. But those four tracks are still in that music library. Um, and that game in itself is tough. It's tough to uh, get into that. And, you know, so with the game being so saturated and so many great artists, man, and music producers and, and artists, you know, everybody is saturating all faucets of this music industry, you know, whether it be music libraries, music publishing, whether it be um, independent artistry, you know, running your own independent label, publishing, so on and so forth. So it's kind of hard to kick the doors down and get something going. So that's where you have to start to think outside of the box. And that's when books like this come in handy because you can read and learn what you need to know. It doesn't have to be a music book. This is not a music book. It's just the young entrepreneur's guide to starting and running a business. You know, it's a business book. I do have a two year degree um, that's heavily geared towards business, an integrated studies degree, basically meaning I took a bunch of classes, had a bunch of credits and <laughs> all of those credits uh, apply towards an integrated studies degree. But the majority of those credits are business credits business related courses. So I basically say it's a two year business degree. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, I would just say educate yourself and find creative ways to to um, build a business and to be successful um, with music. You know, you may not make a lot of music with, with uh, a lot of money with music. So you have to find other ways. That's why you have a lot of people on YouTube, because that's another source of income, especially once you hit the 1000 subscriber um, threshold. Then you start getting paid for your videos and the content that you put out may not be a whole lot in the beginning. But look at it this way, an extra two, three hundred, five hundred bucks a month. And if you are already making another five hundred, that's a thousand dollars a month, you know, have a goal. OK, I want to pull in twenty five hundred a month. I could survive off of that twenty five hundred a month every year, you know, set small increments to grow that each year and make a living. I mean, you'd make what a manager makes and you work from home. You get up, you come sit at your music equipment, sit at your desk and you do your own thing. So that's what I suggest doing. You know, be creative in the ways that you want to make your money. And um, yeah, just go for it, man. You know, it is hard. I want to give up so many times, man. It's been so many. Uh, it's been times where I wanted to give up. It's been a time where I did give up. Like I said, I, I stopped doing music for a whole year, but it kept calling me. It kept calling me back because it's what I love. It's a passion. Um, so just have devotion. Go after what you want. Educate yourself. Pick books up like this. Read them. Um, take notes. Write the information down. And just go for it. Go out there and be successful, man. All right. So I just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. And um, I hope you all have a, a great new year. And let's get out here and try to do what we can while we can. All right. While we can. Because as you can see, things are falling apart for us as we stand. You know, falling apart on us all around, all around us all. So, yeah, like I said, educate yourself. You know, read, watch YouTube, get the understanding, and I'm sure you'll figure it out. All right? It's Curtis Wayne, and I'm signing off. Yee.